hi guys welcome to my youtube channel i hope you are all doing very good so today we are going to see the recruitment notification that has been posted by national board of examinations in medical sciences uh, so we also see the salary structure the important dates and the eligibility for these posts let's begin so you can see on my screen that the crucial date for determining eligibility is 14th of august 2021 so what this essentially means is that all your uh, degree eligibility, age eligibility and everything will be calculated on this date, uh, 14th of August 2021. Uh, going forward, the applications will start from 15th of July 2021 and the last date of submitting the application is 14th of August. So you will get a one month window for applying. Uh, they have also declared the dates of the online examination and that is 20th of September. So if you calculate this, uh, this is around 107 days away uh, from the date we are in right now, that is 5th of June. So you've got 100 days to prepare for this examination. Now let's move further. So there are total of three posts that have been advertised. The first is senior assistant second is junior assistant and the third one is junior accountant let's look at their eligibilities uh, eligibility criteria one by one uh, so in senior assistant you must be below 27 years of age and the educational qualification that is required is you must have a degree this degree can be in any field and they have not mentioned any percentage criteria so you can uh, if you are just passed in your degree examination then you are eligible to eligible to apply for this post moving further uh, we have this post of junior assistant in junior assistant uh, the upper age limit is again 27 years and you must have passed class 12th that is senior secondary examination and you also must be knowing uh, how to use computers i mean they just require you to know the basic stuff and that will be sufficient uh, the third post is junior accountant here again the upper age limit is 27 years and the degree that is they, that they require is bachelor degree with maths or statistics or you should be having a degree in commerce that is vcom so yeah this is it uh, also in junior accountant they have mentioned a desirable qualification that is three years experience in dealing with accounts in some government institutions but then this is uh, desirable this is not compulsory so the compulsory thing is just this degree over here uh, also if you see the number of posts and the pay scale in senior assistant you have eight posts in junior assistant you have 30 posts and in junior accountant you have four posts so uh, just check where you're eligible and then you can apply the senior assistant has the highest salary level that is level seven junior assistant has level two and junior accountant has level four uh, if I give you a rough estimate of what the salary can be, so level 7, uh, it means that you will have a salary, you will have a basic of 4600 grade pay, that is 44,900 rupees will be your basic pay, and your gross salary will be 67,521. This is a rough idea. You can expect an in hand salary of more than 50,000, 55,000. Uh, for junior assistant, your uh, level of pay will be level 2. So for level two, you can check here that the basic is 19,900 uh, 19, rupees and your gross will be around 26,236. So you will get an in-hand salary of around 22, 23,000. And for the last post that is junior accountant, your level of salary will be level four. And you can expect a salary of around 40,000 gross. So again, uh, in-hand will be around 35,000 for this post as well. So I hope this sounds very lucrative. You have 100 days to prepare and you also have, uh, I mean, around 30 posts for junior assistant. The post for senior assistant and junior accountant are less, but given the number of days and if you really want to achieve this, you, I think it is possible. The salary is very lucrative. It will definitely attract you towards this job. Now let's go further. Uh, so here you can see the category wise breakup of these posts in senior assistant then junior assistant and junior accountant you can uh, pause the video here and take a screenshot if you want now let's go further so also we have seen that the upper age limit for all these posts is 27 years and the minimum age limit is 18 years 
age relaxation for different categories again you can see here you can also take a screenshot if you want so yeah now let's move further so this is the selection procedure so the first exam for all these uh, different posts will be the same that is called CBT although the uh, questions will be different because uh, in junior assistant they will only ask you 10 plus 2 level paper in senior accountant they will ask you graduate level paper in junior accountant they will also again they will ask you graduate level paper so what graduate level means that the questions that will be asked will be of a higher difficulty level in junior assistant they will be of a lower difficulty level so that is the only difference there will be 200 questions with two uh, of 200 marks and you will be given three hours that is 180 minutes and also there will be negative marking now they've also mentioned the minimum qualifying marks that is 40% for SCST and 50% for all the other categories. Now this is only the minimum qualifying marks. The cutoff can be much higher than this. Uh, now after stage one, there will be stage two examination. And this will be essentially a computer knowledge or a skill test. So you can take a screenshot over here if you want. Uh, this is essentially a typing test for some posts uh, and also a skill test for others. So yep, that was about it. Uh, you can also find a mock link over here. So they have uploaded a sample of how the actual examination might look like. They have given some sample questions. If you want, you can comment down and I will post this link in the description section. And yep, that was about it. I will also show you what is the examination fee over here. So as you can see, the examination fee for UR that is unreserved and OBC is 1500 plus 18% GST and for SCST PWD women it is free. So now we have seen everything and I would suggest you to go start studying. Do not waste any time you have around 100 days left to prepare for this examination and also don't forget to apply for it. Uh, it will start from 15th of July. So yeah all the best. I will post some telegram links below you can join my group and we can prepare together and also if you need anything other than this or uh, any sources and anything else you can definitely comment below this video and also you can text me on telegram thank you